You ever wonder what it's like driving a car through the FAIR car rental program? Well, I'm going to share with you my four takes from my first week of doing it. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you whether I stuck with the program or one week was enough. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy. And today I'm going to share with you my four takes uh, that I observed and experienced through my first week of using a car, a Hyundai Elantra, a beige-colored Hyundai Elantra through the FAIR car rental program, which is uh, offered in uh, partnership with Uber, which brings me to my first take. Take number one, I love the bonuses. So there aren't many bonuses that are too great anymore. As many of you know, I used to get a $500 bonus for 120 rides. That was an easy $4 extra per ride. But those days are long gone. The bonuses have just been whittled and whittled and whittled and whittled down. Uh, right now I can get a $339 bonus from Lyft, but I got to do 165 rides. With this program, though, uh, at just 70 rides, I can get a $185 bonus, which pays for most of my, my rental fee. And if I just do 120 rides, I can get 305 So compare that. 120 rides for $305 versus Lyft where I've got to do three I got to do 165 rides to get $339. So I love the bonus, I love the flexibility, I love that the numbers are easy to hit all around. That's that's a huge huge benefit to make an extra $300 for just 120 trips. Take number 2. Driving exclusively for Uber was okay. Not so bad. So I've been mostly driving for Lyft over the last year and a half because I, I like Lyft and, um, you know, they had a better bonus. Now Uber's got a better bonus with this car rental program, so I'm giving it a try. Uh, the demand for Uber still isn't quite as much as Lyft, but when you take into account the bonus, it kind of washes out. I like the Uber app, no problem with the Uber app. I'm really good driving for either Uber or Lyft. In the past, I had a real strong preference for one or the other, but they're both offering about the same thing. Uh, but with Uber, I've got this nice little bonus. So I'm gonna go for it for now. Take number three, Uber passengers kind of suck. I mean, in terms of tips, I get significantly less tips from Uber passengers. And they're probably the same people that are my Lyft customers, but it seems like with Lyft, they're more inclined to tip. I mean, I notice like a $50 to $75 a week difference in how much money I can make in tips. Now, I do have to balance that out with the fact that I'm getting more money in bonuses, so it's kind of a wash. But it is an interesting observation, isn't it? That Lyft passengers just, are they friendlier, they're happier? I don't know, but they seem to tip better. I don't know, is that your experience? That is definitely my experience working here in San Francisco. Take number four, I am off the Prius. I really enjoyed having a bigger car. So the Hyundai Elantra is a bigger car. It's quieter, it's a little peppier, and uh, my customers uh, really seem to enjoy it. I got more comments about nice car, I appreciate there's a little bit more room, um, and, and I enjoyed being able to listen to music on the highway. In my Prius, I had to turn the, the music so loud to be able to hear it on the freeway because of the road noise, you know, the road noise, the just the, the rumble of the road. And with the Hyundai Elantra, I didn't have so much of that problem. And uh, that was really kind of cool. So I'm willing to pay a little bit more in gas to have a superior ride and to give my passengers a superior experience. That was a surprise to me because I've been driving a Prius for three years and I've been a big proponent of the Prius. Uh, if I can find a big car that gets the same kind of mileage, that's really the ultimate of what I'm looking for. So in summary, heck yeah, I'm gonna keep driving this car. And truth be told, uh, when I went and rented this car, it was about two months ago. And I kept that Hyundai Elantra for two months, actually for 10 weeks that I drove it around until I found a new car that I wanted to buy. And I'll make a video about that whole process as well to share with you. Um, but yeah, this is a great program. If you're gonna be a full-time driver and you're gonna be consistently putting in 50 hour weeks, 
uh, it's great to, to get a leased car because you don't have to worry about the miles and the depreciation. And I found this program to be excellent uh, because of the bonus. And in my market of San Francisco, there's still plenty of demand. And, uh, and I enjoyed listening to music. Uh, and uh, it all sounded really good. So good program, the Fair Car Rental Program. Now, if this is a, sounds like something you want to check out, down below in the notes, you'll see a couple of links. One is for people who are in California, because that's a different program. That's the program that I'm sharing with you. If you're outside of California, it's a, it's a completely different program, but it's still a good program, and there's a link for that. And if you use this code, which I'm showing you on the screen right now, you get $100 off of your startup fee. So good deals all around. This is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy saying thanks for watching and i hope you got some value out of this and if you haven't subscribed yet to this youtube channel for the rideshare guy by all means sign up join our team stay up to date get a lot of tips and techniques so that you can make more money out there on the road doing your job go out and have a great day be safe out there